One of the more concerning weapons in modern warfare right now are hypersonic missiles. Currently, the United States has no defense against them. Russia already used hypersonic missiles in Ukraine. This week, China passed Russia as the world's top producer of hypersonic missiles. The United States hopes to have operational hypersonic missiles deployed sometime this year. To defend against hypersonics, however, the U.S. needs a whole new type of missile. The Air Force Research Lab recently highlighted its Missile Utility Transformation via Articulated Nose Technology Project, or MUTANT. Basically, it's a missile with a moving nose. Most missiles are designed to either attack long range or to be highly maneuverable, but not both. With traditional missiles, if the target moves away from what's called the point of intercept, the whole missile has to change course to hit the target. With mutant, that course correction happens when the front portion of the missile articulates toward the target, focusing the warhead's lethal payload. Mutant is still in the development and testing phase, so it will be some time before the U.S. will be able to deploy the missiles. The Air Force is using modified Hellfires strapped to rocket sleds to test various system components. Mutant is being developed as part of the U.S. military's larger next-generation air dominance initiative, which demands broad advancements in manned and unmanned aircraft and their weapon systems. According to the Air Force Research Lab, Mutant and its Articulation Control Actuation System are directed at fulfilling future NGAD requirements through the intercept of highly maneuverable targets or threats at longer range with limited cost. For more unbiased, straight facts about the U.S. military and its weapons development programs, check out straightarrownews.com.